All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today, today, very special uh, video interview here. I'm talking with Flyers, hot prospect right now, Elliot Dinoyer. Elliot, how are you doing? Thank you for doing this. I appreciate your time. Thanks for the invite and I'm, uh, I'm pretty good and you? I'm doing good, man. I, I, uh, you know, again, I appreciate you doing this. This is amazing. This is actually the first time I've done uh, an interview like this over Zoom. So again, I appreciate you coming on. One thing I just wanted to uh, start out, um, you know, how are you doing throughout all this with COVID and things like that? Um, you know, how's your family, things along those lines? Uh, every, everyone's doing uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, I'm in Nova Scotia right now and uh, my billet family is doing pretty good. And uh, back home, you know, in Quebec, it's uh, tougher times. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of quarantine and uh, people can't really get along together. So uh, they're staying safe and uh, everyone's pretty good. That's good. You know, it, it's, it's great to hear things like that. Um, I know it's definitely tough, um, you know, with family and everything, but I'm, I'm glad everybody's doing good. Uh, so to start off, just to kind of go back to the draft a little bit, um, you know, we're in the fifth round. It's, you know, Wednesday, it's around five o'clock or so. What was that feeling like when you got your name called by the Flyers? Did you have any feeling that they would take you when they had traded up at the time? Uh. To be honest, like I had a good feeling about Flyers, but basically what happened is um, during uh, during the draft, like I was watching it on TV, and it, like uh, when they got up, it was uh, it was like a, a intermission, so uh, I, I couldn't really see uh, that they traded up. Yeah. So as soon as I went back to the draft, like I saw my name with the Flyers and I was like, I couldn't even believe because it was uh, basically uh, the Preds, uh, the Preds pick. So it was just right. exciting uh, from there. That's awesome. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, it, cause it, it was crazy because, you know, the round before the Flyers had traded up to pick Zade Wisdom uh, and that was early in the fourth round and then they traded up again to select yourself. So that was honestly pretty cool. Um, you know, for me, I was kind of, you know, just sitting down ready to eat dinner and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, they made a trade because they didn't have a pick till I think around like the around, you know, I think it was at least like 20 or 30 picks later. So I didn't really expect anything to happen. And then, bam, they traded up and they selected you. Uh, and, you know, just, just going off of like the season and things like that, has there been any difference in, you know, how you train, eat, work out and things like that, like due to COVID? Um, and, and, and like, you know, just going into this year, what do you think has given you the most motivation just going into the season? I think uh, basically like, you know, I, I'm in a new team and uh, I had a great role last year, but this year it's totally different. You know, I'm, I'm a leader with, with the Mooses right now and uh, it's, it's pretty great to be, uh, be used in all kinds of uh, opportunities. So it's, it's totally different and uh, I'm, I'm pretty pumped uh, about that, I'd say. That sounds good. You know, it, it's definitely awesome to see, um, you know, your, your progress and everything. If, if you do not know people watching this right now, uh, Elliot, I did do a video um, on Elliot a couple of days ago, but he does have 20 points in 12 games so far. Uh, and, and one thing is that you do have 11 goals. Now that's already tied for last year when he had 11 goals in 61 games, um, you know, and you're already clearly on your way to a career year. Is there anything, you know, is there anything that you're doing differently? Uh. I think, you know, it's just basically like I, like I talked about, you know, the coaches are giving me opportunities. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of part of uh, something that gave me confidence a little bit, I'd say. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, things are going well. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud about that. And uh, I'm glad to be uh, with great teammates too and line mates. Yeah, and, and, and one thing is too, I'd have to think that the draft definitely gave you confidence, right? Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. At some point, you know, it's uh, it's pretty nice to uh, belong to a team, and uh, now like it's to show them what you got and uh, how you improve, how you improve uh, during the summer. So, I think so far I'm doing uh, pretty good about that. So you know, so it's kind of just like going into like your game day routine. How do you normally stay focused on game day, and and like do you have like any uh, rituals or routines, things like that? Uh, depends on the uh, away and home games. I'd say home games, just a little walk, you know, just to uh, breathe uh, some uh, some good air and you know to focus on the on, what, on the game basically. And uh, on away games, you know, it's just uh, to get a good warm up and uh, to make sure the legs are there. So no, not not necessarily not necessarily like big uh, like uh, 
superstition. Is that how you say that in English? Yeah. I'm not sure. mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, 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 you know, I think there's a lot of things with guys that some people, I feel like they kind of always think that these guys do like these big things. Sometimes you kind of just have to, you know, just, just take a deep breath and kind of just look at what's ahead. Um, and I feel like, you know, as you said, you know, playing with confidence and things like that, that can really go a long way. Uh, so last question here, if you could play with anyone in the NHL and its entire, you know, its entire history from the early 1920s, um, to the, you know, the 2000s and, and so on, and now into the, the 2020s, um, who would you want to play on a line with? Uh, whew, that's, a good, that's a good question. Like, um, I mean, uh, I, I, grew, uh, I grew up, you know, watching um, Montreal, but mm-hmm. I'd say that, uh, you know, since I, I'm drafted with the Flyers, you know, I'm, I'm watching a lot of uh, – Claude Giroux's uh, clips and uh, for sure like I, I think he's a uh, one of the greatest player of all time and he's a he's a great player so I'd say first him and maybe you know I've always uh, I've always watched up to, uh, to Crosby you know you know he's such a great player and uh, he loves to compete so much so I'd say those two would be my uh, my big line. And, and and it's funny too because that would be an unbelievable line, especially when you have Giroux, you know, the face of the Flyers, and then Crosby, the face of the Penguins. That would be unbelievable with yourself. Um, so again, Elliot, I appreciate you doing this. Thank you for the time. I hope you you know stay safe out there, and please have an unbelievable rest of the season. You're you know you're you're kicking ass right now. So please keep it up. Uh, and again, I appreciate you doing this. Thank you very much. Have a good day.